Welcome back to my kitchen. Now we're gonna make dinner and it's gonna be paella and it's vegan. Right, so we're gonna start by cutting up some peppers and onion. I'm gonna add some chilies because I will love my spicy food. I don't add chilies because I don't like it excessively hot like Kaylee does. And some garlic. Let's get shopping, shall we? Oil to fry them for about five minutes just so they can soften. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Mm. Okay, next we're going to add our paella rice. For this, you want to use 300 grams for serving of about four people. Let's get started. And mix it in. Mixing, mixing. Now we're gonna add our spices and wine. Let's go. First, we're gonna add smoked paprika, oregano, and Italian herbs. Now I'm just gonna add some white wine, just a teeny bit, just to spice things up. Some tomato puree. Now you want to add your stock. If you're doing a meat paella, you can use chicken, and since I'm doing a vegan one, I'm going to use a vegetable. You want to keep mixing it, otherwise rice will get stuck to the bottom and burn. Mm -hmm. First things first, gotta tie my hair up. So I'm not the best baker, but I thought because of coronavirus I would give it a go and we had limited things in the house. Uh, so I read somewhere that if you freezed Nutella that it would and put it inside of a cookie when you were baking it, it would like melt. So I was like, well that sounds like a good idea. So basically I spooned out the Nutella and um, put it in the freezer for 30 minutes while I made the rest of the mixture. I then preheated the oven to 200 uh, Celsius and I uh, measured out uh, 225 grams of butter and I put it in a bowl and you meant to soften it and I decided the best way to do this was with a whisk. This bloody went everywhere, disaster, don't do it. Um, next step was 110 grams of caster sugar and then add that to the butter and keep beating it until it becomes a mixture. Next step was um, 270 gram, five grams of plain flour and I hadn't read ahead of the recipe and I realised you actually had to sieve it so then I was in the situation where I had to scoop out the batter and then put in the flour into a sieve and sieve it through so that took a bit longer than it should have done. And then I decided after making it into like a bit of a dough, I decided I was going to add Oreos because my brother, brother had suggested it and I thought, you know, why not? Because I didn't have any chocolate chips in the house. So I um, crushed them up and put them into the bar. Once I'd done this, I got the Nutella back out of the freezer. It would I'd actually frozen at this point, I was very surprised. Um, and then I started to make balls around the Nutella lumps and putting it on a tray. Um, I would say you should probably section out your dough because I started off, I made the dough really, like the first cookie was massive and then I realised when I got to the end I had to like snip bits off it. I popped it in the oven for about uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to half an hour until it was like golden brown and then it was fully cooked and when it came out, you know what, they were pretty good. Everybody liked them, they were scuffed in about a week, brother liked them so you know. 
I think that was an overall um, all success. Hi everyone, today we're making vegan banana bread. Yum. And anyone who gives me hate for being vegan, hate is gonna hate. For this recipe, you'll need self-rising flour or just plain flour, baking powder, vegetable oil, brown sugar, cinnamon, three bananas that are quite brown, and some dark chocolate, but the chocolate is optional. Let's start by turning on the oven. Let's get started. First thing is to mash up your bananas. Mashing, mashing. There you go, all mashed up. Now we're going to add 75 ml of vegetable oil. If you don't have vegetable oil, you can use sunflower oil. Morning, Heather. Just kidding, she has mumps. <laughs> Next, we're going to add 100 grams of our brown sugar using this contraption. Mixy, mixy. Next, we're going to be weighing out 225 grams of flour. It's 8 ounces if you have an old school weighing system. Let it snow! Now to add some cinnamon. Tea. Oh, mixy, mixy, mixy. Now I'm just gonna cut up some chocolate to add to our mixture. Yum. Now you wanna get your tin and your baking paper. I've got one in the shape of a fancy little loaf already. And now we're gonna oil this up. Okay, so I put some oil in my tin, so it's like a swimming pool. And I'm gonna use a paper towel just to do the edges and make sure it's all oiled up. It's all lined up and I can now just place my paper in and it will stick. And now to put our mixture in. I've got my spatula handy so I can scrape it all out. After a few spillages, I've got it all in, nice and smooth with my spatula and time to put it in the oven. Yum. Let's put it in. In it goes. Bye. <laughs> so it's been in for 20 minutes. Now take it out. Let's do that then. Uh, I've taken it out of the oven and now I'm going to wrap it in tin foil so the insides cook. Beautiful. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, I've taken it out now. It's now been in for 20 minutes without tin foil and 20 minutes with tin foil. So let's see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure it's definitely cooked. The stick a pokey thing in it. Ooh. Oh, Voila. It looks slightly burnt, but I put it back in the oven and forgot about it. But it's cooked, so happy. <laughs> right then. Like whoever messes with them, call me. That's my mum's number. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm getting a life at 11. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm piss on my phone and what's I don't get um, rewarded for it. What's what's the theme of the quiz next week? Trivia. Sick. Not yeah. trivia, but um, it was like People lots of like tea. complicated stuff. Would you say what recipe is? Ow, I hit my back. You <laughs> <laughs> <He> said. <laughs> He likes the suitcase. And Just I not that it's mine. I've, <laughs> I've never met like you, <laughs> but when I come and meet you, you're gonna be ended. Everyone else said they like the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall downstairs one day. I think we're all gonna fall downstairs one day. Cause my fool will die. Have you seen The Simpsons? You know, in The Simpsons, where everybody just like spider pig. Everybody supposed to met you, oh, and we all hate her now. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! It's so cold! <laughs> you love me! Really? Do yeah. down!
and me and Caitlin's YouTube channel. <laughs>